guys welcome back to my channel as you can see today's look is gonna be all about this makeup look right here it's like very like bronzy warm toned um glossy and glowy i love how the look turned out so with that said let's just get right into it <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off with um, my Painterly Paint Pot, or Paint Pot, MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This stuff is the only thing that I know will make my shadow last. God, shut the hell up. If I'm looking over there, that's because there's a mirror over here. All right, I'm just going to go right in with the palette. The palette that I am using today is going to be the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. So I'm going to start off with warming up my cut uh, my cut crease. I'm going to start off with warming off with warming my crease up with mm, I'm going to go with Sauced right here. All right. So that's about blended out. Um, it's okay to go a little more up to the brow bone just because this is an all over transition shade and it's gonna help blend out the other colors I'm going to be adding on to my face, onto my eyes. I'm gonna take a smaller crease brush, um, the only brushes I use, it's the MAC 217. This is, you know, more of a tapered, thinner, crease brush so that I can really define the crease and um, the shade I'm going to be using I don't really want to go too much into the darker reds I want to keep it like lighter kind of so I'm going to go with He Devil we all know we got one of those in our lives I'm going to make a V I'm gonna, or I'm gonna go in the outer V of my eye, so right here focusing on, on the outer part and then bringing it up into the crease. So I'm gonna focus the pigment right here, really pack it on the outer corner, and then I'm gonna bring it up into a V and bring it into the crease. So again, focusing on the outer part of my eye, and then you're gonna bring it to the crease and you're gonna stop like right here not all the way in you're gonna stop maybe a little more than halfway you're gonna take the big fluffy crease brush again and you're going to blend it out I'm going to really put in a statement shade I want to use something a little lighter to make the eyes pop so I'm gonna use lumber which is uh, this shade right here I took it on my finger um, and I'm just going to place it towards the front half of my eye so I'm gonna go in with my primer this is an air flash CC primer by Dior I suggest a mattifying primer I'm just gonna it was mainly the t-zone area this foundation is, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. This is like the foundation I always go back to. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and I am in the color W6 Sun Beige. I'm just going to put two pumps, that's really all you need, and I take my finger and I kind of spread it out first onto my face. And of course, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. I just got a new one and or you can use whatever you want but the like this real techniques blender again like an og i know it's for sure gonna work the next thing is concealer and this is the la girl pro concealer this is in the shade i think it's oh porcelain the formula is very good it's not thick it's very light on the face so you know it doesn't feel like anything is there now i'm gonna blend it out to the best of my ability this stuff blends in so easily like that was like a few dabs and and it's blended all right 
next is bronzing up the face a little bit. I'm gonna go with a cream contour first. So this is the NYX Wonder Stick. This is in the medium tan shade. I really wanna define the cheekbones a little bit. So I'm gonna go in here. Look who it is. Hello? Alright, so I was talking to my brother and sister, so I was a little distracted, um, but what I was doing was I placed the contour here on the cheekbones, up in my forehead. Because I have, you know, a rounder face, I mainly focus the, the contour towards the side of my face to slim it down a little bit, not so much my forehead because I don't really have a forehead. It's time to set my face and I'm going to use the air spun powder. I'm going to take my same sponge, place it under the eyes. I also like to con like not contour but um, bake on the sides of my nose. I like put the most powder in the areas I want to bake but then like now I'm kind of just like spreading out the powder just to like set my face now. It's been about like five minutes, no, more like 10 minutes. I'm gonna wipe away the bake underneath my eyes cause I don't want it to get crusty. But I'm gonna leave the jawline. I'm gonna wipe away everything except for the jawline because I want that to stay while I am contouring, powder contouring. I'm gonna use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So I'm just gonna warm up the face. Now with the nose, I don't like excessive like contour the nose. I kind of warm it up. I've noticed that by doing this, it kind of like brings out, I already have a Filipino nose as it is, so like I don't really have much of a nose bridge. But by like warming up the sides, going from the eyebrow all the way down, it kind of brings out the nose a little more so my face is not just like a flat canvas. I take that bronzer on it. I kind of pinch the brush a little bit, but like, like I said, it doesn't have to be like too precise but I take it on the end like where the brow starts and then I bring it down to the side of my nose like so and then since I have more of like a bulbous kind of like a bulbous Filipino nose I bring it down here so as to make it a little point here like it it brings it out a little bit more so it gives shape to it and then since I kind of put a lot of powders I want to like make sure the powders are really like soaked in the face I hate it when I say that are really like not cakey looking so I want to add a little bit of moisture back into my face of course using the Mario Badescu rose water and quickly drying that with a fan so that it really stays there uh, so I totally kind of forgot that I baked. I didn't even wipe off the bake before I sprayed, but that's okay. Um, I started freaking out and I was like, oh my god, I gotta take it off. I thought it was gonna become patchy, but like, unless my mirror is failing me, like it. All I did was I took my beauty blender and then I, instead of like wiping it away, I just pressed it into the skin. I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I'll come back and finish up with the face. I'm going to go in with blush and the blush that I'm going to use is this one by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo. This is in St. Lu Lucia so I'm going to take it on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back to the temple. And now I'm going to go in with some highlight. I always go to this one. This is like OG um, highlighter, the Laura Geller baked 
highlighter. Yes. And Gilded Honey. So I'm going to just go in with what I know works. Um, and first I'm going to use this smaller brush to highlight my nose. The bridge of my nose. And the, the top, the tip. This is like a step I cannot skip at all. I like to do my cupid bow. And then I take my actual highlighter brush. This little fan brush. And I like to go on tops of my cheekbones. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some black gel eyeliner from NYX. So I'm going to add liner, but it's not going to be a wing. It's just going to be your basic, like liner. I'm going to get my thin liner brush and I'm just going to and since it's literally just following your eye shape it's so easy. Don't know how it's going to be on camera because it's a little harder but I'll show you on one eye and it really does make a difference especially when adding lashes. So I'm basically it's just a basic thin line. Both liners are on. Now I'm going to finish off with the eyeshadow before I put on lashes. And I'm going to go straight in with the sauced um, look. I don't want to go too dark um, because I don't want it to make it look too like fall-like. I still want to keep it light. Um, so I'm going to go in with sauced. And I'm going to smoke it out um, in the bottom lash line. I'm going to pack it on first, keeping it close to the lash line. And then I'm going to go ahead and smoke it out. Now I'm going to go in with the highlight that, uh, from the BH Cosmetics, the Carly Bible Palette. I'm going to take the gold one right here, which is this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm going to take this and place it in the or inner corner of my eye. This is really going to help make the eyes pop a lot more. And now I'm going to go in with lashes. And the lashes I'm using are the Ardo Wispies, of course. Okay, lashes are on. And now we can move on. I'm going to finish up this eye look finally with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is just bottom lash mascara because it's not complete without it. So now I'm going to go in with my lips. The last thing. I'm going to line my lips first because I do want to have a little bit of definition. So I'm going in with this brown lip liner in True Brown K by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm gonna try to go in with a light hand and then blend it out once I line my lips. So once that is blended out a little bit, uh, my lips are a little more defined. Um, now I'm going to go in with this gloss. It's from Bare Minerals. Um, it's called Dreamer. It's so beautiful and I felt like it. It's something that I would definitely wear on a night out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the completed makeup look. Um, you got a warm tone eye, glossy lips, a very glowy face, perfect for, you know, a date night, a night out with the girls, an extra fudge day at the beach. As you can see, it was super easy. Any of y'all can recreate this, and I hope you guys do. So if you did enjoy this look, please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.